The story of Spinosaurus begins over a century ago. In 1912, German paleontologist Ernst Stromer von Reichenbach made a remarkable find in the Bahariya Oasis, Egypt. He uncovered the partial remains of a colossal dinosaur with incredibly long spines along its back. Stromer named this new dinosaur in 1915, meaning Egyptian spine lizard. The initial fossils included parts of the lower jaw, some teeth, several vertebrae, and those distinctive spines. Stromer meticulously described these bones, recognizing Spinosaurus as a huge carnivorous dinosaur. Tragically, Stromer's original Spinosaurus fossils were destroyed during an Allied bombing raid in World War II. For decades, all that remained were Stromer's detailed notes, drawings, and photographs. Despite this setback, the legend of Spinosaurus persisted. Stromer's descriptions painted a picture of a bizarre and fascinating animal. The idea of a giant sail-backed carnivore captivated scientists and the public alike. For many years, further significant discoveries of Spinosaurus remained elusive. Paleontologists had to rely on Stromer's original work and occasional fragmentary finds from other parts of North Africa. The full story of Spinosaurus, its appearance, lifestyle, and place in the dinosaur family tree, was far from complete. The destruction of the original fossils meant that new evidence was desperately needed to truly understand this enigmatic giant. The quest to uncover more about Spinosaurus continued, driven by the tantalizing hints left by Stromer's work. The mystery of Spinosaurus would eventually lead to groundbreaking discoveries that would reshape our understanding of this unique predator. The most iconic feature of Spinosaurus is undoubtedly its massive sail. This structure was formed by incredibly long neural spines extending upwards from its vertebrae. Some of these spines could reach over 5 feet in height. These spines would have been covered in skin, creating a tall, sail-like structure along the dinosaur's back. This feature made Spinosaurus instantly recognizable and visually distinct from any other large theropod dinosaur. The exact function of this enormous sail has been a subject of much debate among paleontologists. One early idea was that the sail helped Spinosaurus regulate its body temperature. Another prominent theory suggests the sail was primarily for display, used to attract mates or intimidate rivals. The sail could also have made Spinosaurus appear even larger and more imposing, potentially deterring other predators. A further possibility is that the sail played a role in species recognition. Some researchers have even suggested it might have provided some hydrodynamic advantage if Spinosaurus spent a significant amount of time in water. What is certain is that this extraordinary structure was a key part of what made Spinosaurus unique. The debate continues, fueled by new interpretations and the ongoing quest for more complete fossil evidence. Beyond its spectacular sail, Spinosaurus possessed a very distinctive skull. Its head was long, narrow, and remarkably crocodile-like in profile. The snout was elongated, tapering towards the tip, and filled with numerous conical, unserrated teeth. These teeth were ideal for grasping slippery prey rather than tearing through large chunks of flesh. The overall cranial morphology strongly suggests a diet centered around aquatic environments. The teeth of Spinosaurus were more peg-like, ideal for puncturing and holding on to fish. The teeth were also replaced continuously throughout the dinosaur's life. Furthermore, Spinosaurus skulls show evidence of sensory pits near the tip of the snout, similar to those in modern crocodiles. These organs are highly sensitive to pressure changes and vibrations in the water, allowing Spinosaurus to detect prey underwater. The nostrils of Spinosaurus were positioned relatively high up on its snout, allowing it to breathe while most of its head was submerged. Combined, these features paint a clear picture of Spinosaurus as a specialized predator, adapted for hunting in water. For many years, the tale of Spinosaurus was largely unknown or reconstructed based on typical theropod dinosaurs. However, groundbreaking discoveries in recent years have revolutionized our understanding of the Spinosaurus tale. In 2020, a team of paleontologists described a remarkably complete Spinosaurus tail skeleton found in Morocco. This tail was broad, flat, and flexible, resembling the tail of a newt or a crocodile. This newly discovered tail structure provided strong evidence for aquatic locomotion. The Spinosaurus tail had significant lateral flexibility, suggesting it could have been moved from side to side in a powerful undulating motion, propelling the animal through the water. This adaptation would have allowed it to actively pursue prey in deeper water. The paddle tail, combined with other features like its dense bones and crocodile-like snout, solidifies the image of Spinosaurus as a highly specialized semi-aquatic hunter. 
The tail has become one of the most compelling pieces of evidence for its unique lifestyle. The question of Spinosaurus's swimming abilities has been a hot topic in paleontology for decades. For a long time the evidence was more circumstantial. Its association with ancient river systems and its crocodile-like snout hinted at an affinity for water. The discovery of the paddle-like tail in 2020 provided strong support for the view that Spinosaurus was a highly specialized aquatic predator. Ibrahim's team argued that this tail was clearly adapted for generating thrust in water. They also pointed to other features like dense limb bones, which could have acted as ballast, helping the animals submerge. However, not all paleontologists are fully convinced that Spinosaurus was an agile pursuit swimmer in open water. Some researchers suggest that while Spinosaurus was undoubtedly semi-aquatic, its body plan might still have been better suited for wading and ambush hunting in shallow waters. The ongoing discussion highlights the complexities of reconstructing the behavior of extinct animals. New fossils and advanced analytical techniques continue to refine our understanding, but Spinosaurus keeps some of its secrets. The diet of Spinosaurus has been a subject of intense interest, closely linked to its unique anatomical features. Unlike many other large theropods, Spinosaurus shows strong evidence of being a piscivore, meaning it primarily ate fish. The most direct evidence comes from its teeth and jaw structure, perfectly suited for grasping slippery fish. Fossil discoveries have provided more concrete proof of its fish-eating habits. In some Spinosaurus specimens, fish scales and bones have been found in the abdominal region, Isotope analysis of Spinosaurus teeth has also lent support to a predominantly aquatic diet. While fish likely formed the bulk of its diet, Spinosaurus was probably an opportunistic feeder. It might have scavenged on carcasses or preyed upon smaller dinosaurs or pterosaurs. Its specialized adaptations allowed it to exploit the abundant food sources in its riverine ecosystem. This dietary specialization is a key aspect of what made Spinosaurus such a unique and successful predator. Understanding how Spinosaurus hunted requires piecing together clues from its anatomy and environment. In shallower waters, Spinosaurus might have waited patiently, using its height to spot fish from above. Its long neck and snout would have allowed it to strike quickly, snatching prey with its conical teeth. The sensory pits on its snout would have been invaluable in detecting subtle movements of fish in murky water. With the discovery of its paddle-like tail, the possibility of more active aquatic pursuit has become a strong contender. Spinosaurus could have used its powerful tail to propel itself through deeper channels, actively chasing down larger fish. Its relatively short hind limbs and dense bones might have helped it maintain neutral buoyancy or submerge effectively. The combination of its sensory capabilities, specialized teeth and powerful body suggests it was a patient yet effective hunter. Spinosaurus made a dramatic debut in popular culture with the 2001 film Jurassic Park 3. In this movie it was portrayed as a hyper-aggressive super predator, even defeating a Tyrannosaurus Rex. However, the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus took significant artistic liberties. The scientific understanding of Spinosaurus has evolved considerably since 2001. If depicted in a modern film, Spinosaurus would likely reflect newer findings, showcasing its swimming abilities and aquatic adaptations. A modern portrayal would present a creature more at home in the water, with movements on land depicted as more cumbersome. Such a portrayal would highlight the truly unique and fascinating adaptations of the real Spinosaurus. While Jurassic Park 3 made Spinosaurus famous, a newer depiction would have the opportunity to correct inaccuracies and showcase its specialized feeding behaviors and swimming capabilities. Spinosaurus holds a unique and significant place in both paleontology and popular culture. Scientifically, it stands as a testament to the incredible diversity of dinosaur life and the surprising evolutionary paths some lineages took. It challenges the traditional view of large theropods as exclusively terrestrial apex predators. Spinosaurus shows us that some giant carnivorous dinosaurs evolved highly specialized adaptations for a semi-aquatic lifestyle. The ongoing research into Spinosaurus highlights the dynamic nature of paleontology. Each new fossil discovery has forced scientists to reevaluate and refine their understanding of this animal. In popular culture, Spinosaurus has become one of the most recognizable dinosaurs, largely thanks to its role in Jurassic Park 3. While not always scientifically accurate, 
Such portrayals ignite public interest and inspire curiosity about prehistoric life. Spinosaurus represents the otherness and grandeur of the dinosaurian world, an animal so different from anything alive today. It remains a symbol of paleontological perseverance, from the tragic loss of its original fossils to the exciting new discoveries that continue to bring this enigmatic creature into clearer focus.